All right, so we uh, started out 3.14 today in earnest after all the uh, bugs and uh, 30Ks from last night. Uh, we decided we wanted to uh, check out the Nine Tails mission initially as good guys. We went there. Holy crap, it was boring. There was maybe 15 or so blues. Uh, I think twice uh, a couple of pirate cutlass blacks and valkyries spawned while we were supposed to protect this uh, uh, PVE uh, terrapin scanner mission or whatever. It was mind-numbingly, painfully boring. Uh, so we decided to switch it up and check out the pirate side, which is kind of more fitting to us anyway. Uh, it was a lot more fun. <laughs> we, we immediately uh, transitioned into the Op 4 and had a lot of fun uh, playing it out. We decided to uh, check out the multi-crew play on a bigger ship. We chose the Hammerhead. In 3.13, we would usually use the Carrick, but uh, the, in 3.14, the Hammerhead has a huge buff. It's no longer the essentially glass cannon it used to be. It got a ton of HP. Uh, it was a lot of fun. My big complaint is that the, the with the weapon range, being nerfed to it is because the devs haven't balanced it yet. The 1500 meter cap on uh, laser range is just painful to deal with. Hold X, S, and Shift. Or whatever the keyboard equivalent of that is. That was the keyboard equivalent. I'm fucked. God hold damn. X, S, and Shift. Yeah, just and hold it. Yeah. Yeah. It's stabilizing. And now, sure okay, we're stabilizing. Start pulsing it. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse it. I got pulse it, it now. I got it. I got it. I got it. Once we got on the objective, uh, we nuked the target ships, which were the uh, Navy Terrapins doing their scanning stuff. And then we proceeded to nuke the players in the area. Uh, it went pretty quick. No longer hit him, my pip's not fucking uh, in range. I'm not moving. Your pip has to be. We got Corindak in an arrow? Nuke the fuck out of him? Thanks! Malintent in a hornet? He's on your side, dip! I don't see him. I'm gonna try and find him. Back shield's almost down. I can't hit I'm him. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. He's dead! What else is Harbinger. near us? I need to know. Right up front, Lieutenant Cole. There's a horn. Now I am. Give that bitch the fucking clamps! Contact. I'm giving it to you, Dent. Give me hits, Dent! It is not yeah, baby! What is hitting us? I need, I need a Lieutenant He's Cole. Coming Lieutenant around Cole, to the right. focus. There's a harbinger right in front of us. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hit the harbinger. Hit the harbinger. It's about to die. Hit it. You need to go more left. I can't hit it. I, just hang on. I'm giving it to Northern. Northern, hit the fuck out of that guy. Please, right now. He's Thank dumb. God. We're very hurt on our left side a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. We just... We <laughs>
pinning targets, pinning targets. Okay, I'm on Mickle Target pinned one, target pin one, target pin one, target pin one. Got Thank Mickle you. User in your channel, time. Aluminum out. elephant, target pin, talon, talon, talon. User entered your channel. On him. Nuke that fucking oh, no. shit. You gotta Nuke turn that to the left. shit, baby. Okay. Give it the fucking dick. For the next part of the mission, we had to protect and defend two uh, Ninetales pirate convoys uh, made up of hammerheads and assorted other vehicles. This was difficult to do because they're spread out over a pretty large area. There's two different groups about 20 kilometers away from each other. Every time we would cover one group, the enemy would go and attack the group that we had just left. We were able to run them off very easily. But without light fighter support to chase down the runners, it was hard to delete them and send them home. So next time I think we'll have to try it with more people. Alright, I'm back. This sentinel's attacking one of our ships. Yep. Close we need gap. to light this bitch up. Is he griefing us? He is attempting to grief us. You must show him our gameplay loops. Superior. You don't come over here and grief my PvE mission? Toxic? <laughs> Give him the dick. have to cycle through targets. We just got rammed. Whoa. What the fuck rammed us? Mm -hmm. I don't know who did it, but... It looked like something... <laughs> oh, it was gay as fuck. That's yep. what you get for slowing down. Mm. Rip. Oh. I'm not sure exactly what rammed us. Uh, I think it might have been a Gladius. Whatever it was should not have been able to kill us because it was obviously small and fast. Uh, it'll be nice when they take uh, whatever steps are necessary for the physics engine and collision to calculate for mass so that if a ship rams another ship, whichever ship is, you know, the heavier and tougher ship wins. Because obviously uh, they're are probably situations where ramming should be a viable tactic but you shouldn't be able to delete a corvette by just driving a light fighter into it kind of doesn't make sense uh it reminds me of the scene in uh star wars where the uh, x-wings are doing their little strafing runs on the uh, death star and on star destroyers and they're getting shot down by the automated turrets and, you know, they crash and explode along the sides of the bigger ships. <laughs> and just how funny it would be if, you know, each of those impacts just deleted a Star Destroyer or a Death Star or something. But, uh, so yeah, it'll be nice when they fix that. As far as prison goes, uh, most of it's still the same. However, when you send merits to someone out of prison, I don't know if that person receives them. You can send merits to players who are not in prison, but that person has no ability to check their merits without going to prison themselves. I haven't tested that to see if they actually transfer, uh, so that'll be interesting. In the meantime, the prison escape route still works just fine. Uh, I'm a little rusty on it. it took me uh, about uh, 15 minutes, I think, to get out. Uh, We've just been relying on the merit system for so long, got lazy. But we'll get that together. 
anyways, we had a lot of fun with this uh, Nine Tails event. Looking forward to seeing some more of this and also getting into the Xeno threat when that drops. <laughs>